I don't know who I'm speaking to directly, but this is a specific message. All I want to say is like, well, I want to say more, but I want to start off with saying use your discernment. Use your discernment. Use your discernment, meaning be very aware of your intuition's eye. OK, it's very keen on sensing things of, say, prey predators, you know, sort of thing. All right. Meaning that it's going to be your protector because. The more you raise yourself up and open your and tune and vibrate and everything, you're going to piss individuals off. You're going to bring out, let's say, their devil side. OK, so be very aware and use your discernment, because if you've been like getting a lot of mental or like spiritual attacks, that's because tactics wasn't working so that's why your discernment is key now when tactics don't work individuals they get antsy and they try to be prominent you feel me which is why you have to be consistent in your work because it's training you it's morphing you because people try to project their own self insecurities onto you. I'm getting people. People really just want you to be lower than what you really are. They don't want you to rise up. That is why they project their own self. So when they say something about you, they're only speaking of such to their own selves. So notice whenever a person tries to tell you that you're unable to do something, that's because they're really unable to do it. So notice how it's the individual who be like the most insecure. They'd be the most narcissist type, but yet they're trying to tell you you're unable to complete a task, right? But real, but in real time, that's just them feeling as if they're unable to complete a task. So they want to project that on you because they want to bring you down to the level of them. And when they're unable to succeed in that, this makes individuals quite timid and petty. So people like to do some petty things, some things that they know or a part of them knows is not right in the head, but still a big part of them. They just still act on this or they still think that can get away with it or can still think that. It's going to be unnoticed or still think that, I mean, it's going to work. You feel what I'm saying? In real time, it's just accumulating karmatic debt. It's accumulating reaping what we sow. It's accumulating reaping what the collective sows. All right. So with that being said, it's just a test. And as long as you just exude love, you actually speed up. And you integrate much quicker that you basically instead of resist, it's more like a persist. You're able to go the long run. You feel me? You won't be you'll be able to be on a consistent rising versus on a, you know, decline. Then you go up, then you consistent then you stagnant and you go down. It's repeating karmic cycles. I bet if you're watching this video, you've experienced repeating karmic cycles. Now, now those who reap what they sow have to experience karmic cycles. I'm telling you, it's a part of the whole energy uh, frequency vibration game. This whole realm is governed by those laws. You can't get away from those laws. There's nothing. That is the that is that is the main laws of this universe. I believe those are the only laws of this universe. Energy, frequency, vibration. Anything that's within that parameter, it's governed by the law. Anything that's not, it's not. It's just what it is. So, I mean, I just gave y'all like the most simplest way to think about in terms of like, you know, life. Nicola Tesla said, said the same thing. It makes sense now because, ah, man, it just makes so much perfect sense. And I'm not going to go into detail about that. I'll do a separate video about it. Just comment down below. I'll go down like detail, detail. I'll just break it down, dissect it. And, you know, why energy, frequency, and vibration is all that this whole world is governed by. That's it. Like everything, numbers, colors, shapes, uh, touch, physical, anything, everything, eyes, uh, speed, everything, everything. With that being said, 
So you just gotta be be more discerned. I know, right? I'm gonna keep using that word. I'm gonna keep reminding whenever you do something you don't wanna do, just pain response. I'm telling you, it'll get rid of that quick because whatever you associate with pain, you don't wanna feel. So you get rid of it, right? There you go. So utilize the pain because these individuals, there's people that, if you're watching this, there's people that is had so much low intent that they've been starting this, I'm getting from the age of nine, 13 or 15. Yeah. So from those age, nine, 13 or 15, they've been plotting, they putting out things, they've been doing things like I'm, I'm getting that's when they started and they put out like a curse or like a spell. And then it just, it changed something. And now is the moment when that finally breaks. So from here on now, from you watching this video, you're about to see a different in your whole entire life. You're going to see a incline. You're going to see a uprise. You're going to see a increase. You're going to see so much greatness. They put this hex of curse to keep you down. I know crazy, but it was done intentionally. Now it's, De now it's what's it called denounced intentionally so saying so now it's broken even quicker and now car karma has to be paid and you are going to get paid over dues i'm talking high high what's it called interest rate i'm talking quick time days within weeks i'm talking Nobody can touch this God high anointed, completely sealed. So what if they listen to this conversation sealed completely? It's best they know what they're missing out on. So it's just no matter what magic they try to throw that they still retain a little bit because, you know, you know, God, God, no matter what they try to throw out, I'm hearing bamboo right back around. So it's just more to sow. That's it. People are hard-headed. They think they could keep prominent. Okay. It only builds up. That's all it is. So if you've done, if you've understand karma, if you've done like low or things that you know wasn't good. And you know that when you came around to like something, I would say something that you perceived as negative, Right. You immediately thought, oh, man, this must have been because I was doing that, 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 that. You immediately thought that, right? I bet. Yeah, we all have. You watching this video, you resonate with this. It's because that is the holiness in you identifying what you did. So you had to repent for that. So you had to feel that energy. You had to be in that vi vibratory, that vibration. Yes, I'm saying. So whatever you reap is what you sow. <laughs> Woo! So if you guys stay tuned to this video, congratulations, yo. Thank you guys so much. You guys are so freaking awesome, yo. You guys are very awesome. I'm talking, y'all been, yo, synchronicity like a mother, even with the love, yo. Thanks so much. For those who want to show future love, check out the description box. You can do it this or that. I got two different ways you guys can show love. All you got to do is just, you know, a couple, couple moves on your phone. You feel me? And for those who like, like this message, want to hear more, comment down below, like it. And I'm going to do part two of this. There's a lot going on. So I feel like this need an addition. We need to add on to this information because we're just touching the surface. All right. All right. So thank you guys for watching this. Etos, everything on the other side, maybe even TV. Huh? I mean, we need to start being more in the state of like, yo, we're going to have to entertain ourselves because TV ain't the same, man. They ain't got no good producers, screenwriters, man. It's all trash. No love. It's like, it doesn't, it doesn't have any zing. It just doesn't have that it, you know what I'm saying? It's not hitting like it did. Nowadays, it's like bland. And the actors, nah, man. I really take a low budget actor any day. They seem to be doing better work than these supposedly high pay actors. I'm like, bro, where do you go to acting school, man? You know what? Never mind. All right, I'm out, y'all.